Eh, está en una habitación que, que tiene balcón y, bueno, estamos un poco con temor de que haga algo que, que le ponga en riesgo su vida. What you see here is one of the last videos posted by Liam Payne right before he tragically died at the age of 31. Good morning, everybody. A lovely day here in Argentina. This is the breakfast table. He seemed to be having such a great time, but sadly, there were already five signs before his death that showed just how much he was struggling inside. From what I gather, the pictures were taken by a hotel employee. Not only Liam smashed his laptop, but he was feeling a lot of things. This is the story of Liam Payne, the boy who had it all, yet felt like he had nothing. Night fam, if you like our videos, please don't forget to subscribe as we want to hit 4 million by the end of this year. Former member of the boy band One Direction has died. At just 14 years old, Liam's life changed forever when he auditioned for The X Factor. From playing football in Wolverhampton to becoming a global superstar, in One Direction, Liam was expected to be the responsible one. The guy who held everything together. Who is the sensible one? Then. Gary Barlow here. Gary Sorry, Liam. <laughs> but Liam was also known in One Direction as the Jack of all trades. He could sing high when needed. And he even co wrote multiple songs like Story of My Life, Little Black Dress, and No Control, among others. But fame came at a price that no one could have predicted. The problem we had in the band, the best way to secure us because of how big it got, was just lock us in our rooms. Imagine being a teenager with the world at your feet, yet feeling trapped in a golden cage. No freedom, no privacy. And so began Liam's dangerous dance with alcohol. Number one, substance use. Liam had struggled with alcoholism during his time in One Direction, using it as coping mechanism for the overwhelming fame and pressure. Sadly, stadiums full of adoring fans couldn't fill the emptiness he felt inside. The pressure to be perfect, to always be on, was crushing. He really tried his best to fight his demons, even if he was experiencing manic episodes and feeling disconnected from reality at times. There's a few pictures of me on a boat and I'm all like bloated out and I call it pills and booze face and I was like this like my face was just like 10 times more than it is now and uh, I just didn't like myself very much. Sadly though it seems like this personal darkness goes way back because right when Liam was still in one direction he confessed having number two suicidal thoughts. You were having moments of that, that kind of like ideation you were having moments of ideation and there's, there's some stuff that I've definitely like never, never spoken about to do with it. It was really, really, really severe. And it was a problem. And, and, and it was only until I saw myself after that I was like, right, I need to fix myself. But even in his darkest moments, Liam found the strength to fight, to face his demons, to seek help, to rediscover himself. It wasn't easy, but it was necessary. You can either be 100% of nothing or one fifth of something. I'm sure I'll be fine. In fact, Liam announced in July last year Year that he spent nearly 100 days in rehab. I didn't have my phone for, you know, nearly 100 days. I didn't connect with the outside world at all. And after that, he even celebrated six months of sobriety and a renewed sense of control over his life. Seven months before his death, Liam released what is now his last solo single. <laughs> This song is born from many tears. I hope you love it like I do and not too many of you can relate. However, as revealed in a recent legal battle with his ex Maya Henry, who just filed a cease and desist letter against him, apparently Liam had been sending number three disturbing calls for help. His ex Maya claimed that ever since they broke up, Liam had been blowing up his phone with disturbing messages of him predicting his own end. It's always from different phone numbers too, so I never know where it's gonna come from. He would 
always message me ever since we broke up, like, oh, I'm not well. I'm, he would always play with death and be like, well, I'm gonna die. I'm not doing well. Right now, it's heartbreaking that some fans are actually blaming her for what happened. But even Maya was in absolute shock learning about this sad news. Number four, health struggles. Apart from his mental health struggles, Liam also had to deal with a lot of physical pain. Last year, he was rushed to hospital in agony from serious kidney pain, which even forced him to postpone his South American tour. It's something I wouldn't wish on anyone, and doctor's orders are that I now need to rest and recover. October 2nd, 2024. Liam traveled all the way to Buenos Aires in Argentina. On our way to the show. Good luck, Mr. Horan. Have a beautiful time out there. We're very proud of you. This gave hope to One Direction fans that the band may still reunite someday. Liam traveled with his girlfriend, Kate Cassidy, and together they stayed at a hotel. Good morning, everybody. They were supposed to stay in Buenos Aires for five days, but they ended up staying there for two weeks. Can you imagine if this tragedy would still happen if they didn't stay? A photographer was even able to take a photo of Liam on his balcony. One of his final photos ever. October 12th. Kate posted a series of photos, including a photo of Liam. She said, I am very grateful for the simple things in life. Two days later, on October 14th, she shared that she went back to Florida while Liam decided to stay in Buenos Aires. She had no idea that this trip would be their final trip ever. Because on October 16th, the unimaginable happened. Number five, erratic behavior. As you've seen, Liam's final moments were apparently filled with such strong emotions that Liam even reportedly smashed his laptop and had to be carried back to his hotel room. But moments later, Liam would fall off the balcony, losing his precious life. Liam Payne has died after falling from the third floor of a hotel in Buenos Aires. I genuinely am so sad about this news because I saw Liam on podcasts, I saw him on social media, and it was very clear to me that he was struggling, that he didn't take this whole fame thing in the best way. And it's just so sad to see him go and leave this world too soon. If only more people noticed his calls for help, if only more people got to save him from the darkness, millions wouldn't have to be mourning today. And his seven-year-old son would still have a dad. Liam's passing shattered the music world, leaving an emptiness that millions will feel in their hearts. We're only getting older, baby. And I've been thinking about Millions of fans who fell in love with them, grew up with them, as they themselves turned from boys to men, as they turned from girls to women, as they left one of the world's biggest phenomenons and were called to define their own legacy. I am broken. So please share this video to pay a tribute to Liam. And if, like me, you feel so nostalgic about One Direction and about the journey of our young younger years, I encourage you to just send some good energy up there and hopefully reach him where he is now. Let's remember his strength, his resilience, his legacy of pushing through his own darkness just to keep making millions upon millions of people smile. May he rest in peace.